Hello everybody, my name is Deloop, and welcome to episode 4 of Factorio. Last episode, we got our iron up and running, and really just, it's backing up nicely. You'll notice that these aren't, are going to stop producing, and they'll have a hundred buffer in the, bo in the, in the furnaces that I'll need to get rid of. These aren't picking up anything because I got the line full. That's where my buffer storage is going to come in. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of inserters for that. So, and I'm also going to need a lot of inserters for my next furnace setup. So I think these need iron gear wheels. So to speed that up, let's go grab iron gear wheels. And I'm going to start migrating everything down here so I won't need to come up here anymore. That sounds like a good idea. So let's grab this copper. Let's grab our gear wheels, which have probably maxed out at 100, gear, 100 gears because it's out of iron. I'm going to make... 100 more. Grab those. Let's see. So I want to do 36 inserters for buffer storage. I got 6. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Again, go big or go home. Now this design, I, I never actually heard about the buffer storage, and this is coming off of another YouTuber. His name is uh, Negative Root. I mentioned him in the first episode. I've been watching a series with him and Colonel Will, I believe his name was. Awesome series. Go check it out. Shout out to uh, them. I'm not going to be doing exactly everything as them, but this um, this furnace setup, love it. It it's really compact. It's a uh, design that you can just stamp down really easily it's got plenty of buffer storage and all that cool stuff I came up here to grab iron and remember that it's not up here anymore so actually now that we don't have iron up here anymore it doesn't make sense to leave this up here because if I want gears I have to run all the way up here not worth it so we're gonna tear it down no longer need you you're outdated All right. Now the only thing we need to come up here for is to uh, extend the iron mine, and everything's kind of a little more centralized. I'll run co stone down here and copper down here, and we'll get everything over in this area. That way, I don't need to come do these long treks. We no longer need these. These are outdated tech, right? And I have my inserters. Now the next thing I'm gonna need is boxes, and I'm gonna need. Oh, I built way too many inserters. I think. I am trying to remember stuff. Nah. Alright, I'm gonna need like I don't know how many boxes. Let's build a bunch. Figure it out. <clears throat> so to do the little buffer box thing, we're gonna have a belt that comes down here, right? And I want everything on this belt. So I want inserter 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 well inserter here and here and look at that it doesn't line up with this belt now the reason for that is it's too wide here and it fits here but obviously they're it's a little closer on this side so I think to fix that I can do something like this that should work and then what you do is you put boxes in the middle of these guys like this and you have it layered down right so it would be I need uh, four more like five so that's what six uh, six twelve eighteen twenty four boxes and then now all I need to do is just do you That should be good. And look, buffer storage for days. I will probably never fill this up. And if I do, I think I'd be in a little bit of trouble. I'm not sure whether it'd be good or bad. So now this is cool because this is another design that just really efficiently uses power cables. And that's always nice. See how it just kind of perfectly fits them in between now I just need to run this line down here 
I don't want to turn all these buffer boxes on right now. Eh, you know what? Why not? Let's do it. There's no arm in it. And I cannot place these belts straight, apparently. <clears throat> Go home to loop your drunk. You'll notice that I have a, t a huge backlog of iron. I'm going to get a lot more iron than I was getting before. Which is very, very good. Right? In the future, I'm going to want to upgrade these all to fast inserters. For now, these are fine. And if I want iron, I just come and grab it. Right? And let me clear out these boxes. You know what? It's going to take quite some time to get through this backlog. Because I think each of these furnaces has 100 in them. Not anymore. Uh-oh. See how slow these uh, inserters are moving? That's because I'm out of power. There we go, power outage. Let me take a wild guess why that is. And it has something to do with not having coal. Oh, there we are. So let's, oh no, trees, my worst enemy. People say rocks are worse. I don't believe that. Trees are way worse. Trees are the bane of my existence. Rocks, there's not that many. Right? Trees are kind of cool because they're easier to clear out, but rocks, there's really not that many. Where can I place that? There we go. Hate forests. Alright, so as you can see, this is out of coal. So what I want to do is get rid of this inserter and run this all off of one line. Which is somewhere down here, right? Oh, I gotta link that up. It's hard working through a forest, though. Let's get rid of these trees. This is slightly faster. It's a lot better, the combat shotgun, clearing these out. Poison capsules work too. I used to use those more. They're a little bit more expensive, but once you reach late game, you have so much material that it doesn't matter. Maybe it's going to be different for RSO. I got to stop thinking like that. All right, so now what I need to do is I actually need to kickstart this, right? So I'm going to put half in each boiler. That should be good, right? So now that I'm generating power again, once these inserters should start working and they're working fast enough now here's the issue I'm, I'm thinking that see how it's a flat one megawatt these things produce five megawatts of power I believe yeah 510 kilowatts so one megawatt right I'm gonna need more of these steam engines let's go with how, how bad is the power it's going to be pretty bad. I'm about half, so let's go with... You know what? Let's full go. Let's do it the whole thing. Eight. Eight steam engines. In the meantime, while those are crafting, I can start clearing some of this out. This is not what I was planning today. I, I wanted to get copper going, gone, done. I might do copper as a mirror, so, you know, I'm going to mirror it, so I might just end up doing it off camera. I'm going to try and avoid doing much off camera. If you would like to see it differently, let me know. Um, I am going to really pre-record these in advance. I want at least 10 or 15 episodes. Let's say 14 episodes if I release them once a day for two weeks. And that will give me two weeks to record. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> that way I don't just end the series right in the middle, you know. I at least have enough, right? So what I'm going to do is steam engine. And this is how I do things. I go steam engine 3, 4, and 5. And then, because I don't want things long and bulky, even if I don't think I have to walk through here, I'm going to plan for it. So I'm going to need some pipe. Let's go with just regular old pipe. Where is the pipe at? How do you craft pipe? Oh, there it is. Alright. Let's go with that. Clear out some of these trees. 
You know what? I don't want to really waste repair packs on fixing these things. Let's just cut them down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these steam engines again. Let's get these out of here for now. And I'm just going to... Uh, of course there's a tree in the way. It's all hiding from me. Don't kill me. You killed my whole family and now he's coming after me. There we are. And I crafted those pipes so that I can do this. Now, sure. I like to do this because it's nice and not as... It's not like I can walk through this area anyways with these freaking trees in the way, huh? Too many trees. They'll die from pollution, though. They will die. One way or another. I'll just come through here with a bunch of poison caps. Alright, you see how it, it actually will reach across here? Every time I plug more in, they all slow down. See that? They all slow down because I have way more power than I need, but this will be good for a while. I won't need to come over here and mess with it. Now, one of the things I'm concerned about, I can't really see a biter base over here, but there is one over here. Pretty soon here, I'm going to start seeing biter attacks, and I want to be prepared for that beforehand. Perfect. Power for days. I can't really see how much power I'm producing, but let's say each one or two of them make a megawatt, so I can, I'm producing five megawatts power, and I'm using 1.8, so I'm producing a, two and a half times more than what I need. Beautiful. All right, let's continue. We're already halfway through the episode, and I didn't do what I wanted to do today. One of the things was that buffer storage. That was a big one. Alright, so as you guys know, I already made the furnaces that I needed for this setup. Now I need the inserters. To do that, again, I need, what, 32 long-handed inserters, 16 on each side, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, and then I'm going to need 64 of these. So, Jesus, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 64 of those right and while those are crafting of course I am out of belt but while those are crafting I'm just gonna I wish there was a way to rearrange your queue I'm gonna make as many belts as I can and clear out these trees shotgun time and I'm damaging my factory a little bit I'll fix it Oh, why am I clearing trees? I don't want to build this one. I really don't need it. Alright, well. Let's fix this up. Huh, I've done more damage to my own base than the biters have. That is sad. Well, uh, I guess in the meantime I can start placing power poles and furnaces. Let's see. Let's map this out. So I'm going to need this one right alongside here as well. Hopefully that'll give me enough room. The issue being, I'm not going to be able to expand it, the iron more, if I need it. I think two sets of them is going to be plenty. If I need more than that, I'm in trouble. We're done with the game. Alright, let's do this. So we're going to have this. Inserter, belt, belt, inserter here. That's going to be the edge inserter, so I need this one here. There we go. And then I just go down from here. Let's just do one side at a time. It's two, four, five, six, seven, and eight. To do tell me that's lined up. Yes, it is. Six, seven, and eight. Eight. and that's lined up let's get this one here that have to measure it out again Bam. I guess I did need to clear some trees
And look, I'm starting to craft some of my inserters. I have enough long-handed ones, so I'm starting to craft the inserters. That's, those are going to take a little bit. Once those are done, though... And one more. Once the inserters are done, I can, I'll can i start crafting those belts, and the belts should be pretty quick. I'm probably way out of gears. I'm out of gears, though. Yeah. I'm starting to craft them again. See how much quicker this one is to build? It is a lot quicker. So in the meantime, now I can just go ahead and place my inserters here. And this is going to look really nice when it's done. Especially once like the all four of them are up and running. They're going to be nice compact. They're going to be all symmetrical. And look really nice. Very nice. There we go. Inserters. By the time I actually use all 50 of these, I'm going to have cr finished crafting them. And now I'm working on belts. Well, the gear wheels first. but I wish there was a way to craft, like, really tell how many you're going to craft in your inventory. Instead of going by fives, I, there's probably a way, but I don't know how. Knowing this game, there's a way. Yeah, I can't. I still can't believe it's not butter. I was gonna say I still can't believe this game is uh, not fully released and it's still an alpha. And then uh, that kind of popped in my head. So uh, guys, it's not butter. Can you believe it? You butter believe it. Sponsor. All right, my belts are done crafting. I'm gonna need more though. I'm gonna need more than 40 or what? Seven. All right. All my inserters are placed. Let's grab some more. I believe I'm short on iron to make more of those, right? Yeah. I don't have much copper either. Luckily, I'm getting this turned on. So let's uh, see. 400 co iron plates. That should give me plenty. And let's place my belts. Copper comes in here. Now, I'm kind of debating on whether I want copper to go in this side. Right? No, copper is going to come in this side. And coal will come in this side. Copper will output here. And of course I'm out of belts, right? This is going to look nice. Give me more belts, please, so I can finish my build. I got two more minutes. Oh, no, a tree. I'm going to need even more ins more belts. Ooh. There we are. Place it there. Go all the way down. Now I need to remove this. And that. Because remember, I need splitters. It's going to be just exactly the same as before. Alright. And now that should be it. I will bring this down. Like that. Place a splitter here. And give me my other splitter, please. There we go. Alright, now all I need to do is turn it on. I'm going to need one more splitter. Let's go ahead and craft all the belt I can. And I am out of iron again. Belts don't take copper. I didn't know that. Weird. Ha, <laughs> plenty of iron. Because now I would like... How many miners do I have going on copper? S ten? Or iron? I got ten going, I believe. Let's, I don't need that many. Let's go with six miners on that. And while those are crafting, I can hook up the coal. How do I want to do this? Let's try and split this into four evenly. Right? 
So I'm going to bring this off, and that's going to split it once. I need more splitters. Let's stop these for now. Then I'll craft them again. Six. All right. This episode's going to run a bit long again, but I want to finish it. How would you go into four belts normally? Let me take these real quick. Normally what you'd do is you would just do something like that. And that would evenly split f two belts, or even one belt, into four. Where would be the best place to do this? Oh, I see what I can do. Alright, so I'm going to bring this down like that. I'm going to build this right here and then do some weird routing. I want I don't want any of these to have precedent over the other. If I start running out of coal, I want them all to be kind of working at the same pace. I don't want to run out of copper first, for instance, because why would that happen? So we'll put it down like that. And this one can just loop around. Right? And you don't lose compression. Let me check that. You don't lose compression, right? Let's see. Nope, that looks fully compressed to me. Perfect. So now what I can do is bring all these forward. I need more belt. Oh! Why am I still crafting belt? I have like <laughs> a bunch in my inventory. This is just what I have in my hotbar. So now I want this bring up, brought up there. Bring this one up here. And the other one will get connected. Let's map that out. I'd have it here. Inserter. Furnace. And furnace. That's off by one. I don't like that. There. And there. And then this would be cool. This is going to be a massive base. I'm excited. There we are. <clears throat> so now we have coal running to, well, eventually all four furnaces. And it is evenly distributed. But I seem to be hitting kind of hit my limit with coal here you see how it is really just uncompressed right and it'll back up these furnaces will not use that much coal so we'll just kind of let see how that works out in the meantime I did craft six of these burner or these miners and I'm gonna run my copper right alongside the iron probably one away <laughs> that way I can uh, fit it in so if I want the belt here, uh, I want to bring this here. Put them here, here, here. And then put some power poles in. And bring the belt all the way back. And I hit the And a tree is in the way. Alright, another thing I need. Underground belt. I haven't built this yet. I'm going to set this as a filter for underground belt. Ooh, I'm at a belt. Not to worry. Oh, do not tell me that is just a little bit too far do that. That's complicated, I know, and it hurts my brain, but that'll work. And I need more belt. Because what I'm going to do is I need these to run like this. Leave room for an underground belt. There we go. 
And our furnaces are set up. Now, off camera, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, because i got to end the episode here, uh, off camera, I'm going to craft up the inserters and the chests. Uh, so I need 24 chests, something like that. So, uh, six, yeah, 24 chests. One, two, four, 24 chests. And 36 inserters. So, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, one, two, 32 inserters. Alright, so that's going to get crafting. I'm going to clear out these trees, go ahead and place this here. Next episode, what we're going to do is start automating some of the stuff like circuits, right? So some circuits and eventually science. I don't know if we'll get to science next episode. I kind of feel bad for you guys. We're in episode 5 and I still haven't started Red Science. But look at this massive base already. This massive base without any science yet. It's going to be great. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next episode when we automate some circuits and other good stuff and probably start fending off biter attacks pretty soon because, look, pollution is far-reached. So uh, next episode, we'll handle all that. Thank you guys for watching once again, and goodbye.